Hi there, it's Michael from ShareMaster. Have you ever thought about the fact that each time you save a file on SharePoint, each additional version consumes the same amount of size as the original file? So if you have two versions of the same file on SharePoint, then that uh, file is consuming twice the size of the original file. For example, if you look on my screen, you'll see demo slide, the PowerPoint file, it's consuming one gigabyte of data. But if we go over to the storage metrics, we find the file and it's actually saying it's consuming 7.2 gigabytes of space. So why is that? We can click version history and we can see that each additional version is consuming one gigabyte of data. So we could just go through and trim them by manually clicking delete, or we could use ShareMaster. So with ShareMaster, if we want to reclaim the space that each version is using, we can click the Space Master and we can choose version trimming. Once logging in, we can see all our document libraries and we'll choose the document library that we want to trim the versions on. We'll select the library. Now here we have the op options of choosing only trimming certain files. So I could say, let's only trim uh, PowerPoint files, but I'll just remove this option. We can retain some versions. So we may not always want to trim every single version. We may want to save the last five. I'm just going to trim everything. Uh, we can ignore files that are modified after. So this option uh, gives us the ability to say, don't uh, trim files that have been modified um, before a particular, uh, after a particular date. So we may not want to trim any new files that have been modified in the last six months. We may only want to trim older ones. If that's the case, we can use this option uh, and only delete ver uh, versions before a set date. So this will actually go through every file. It will iterate uh, through all the versions and it'll only remove the versions that are older than a particular date. In SharePoint, if we try and delete a minor version, both it and the current major version cannot be deleted. Uh, publishing the minor version to major ensures that there's only one file remaining. Okay, so once we've chosen our options, we can just execute the trimmer. And it's just warning us that once the, default, the version is deleted, they cannot be recovered. I'll fast forward this part and we'll see the results. Okay, so you can see here that um, we can download a report once it's finished. Uh, this will tell us how much uh, data we've saved. And if we look at the report on the computer screen, we can see that this demo slide um, has had five versions trimmed. So let's go check out the results. There we go. Now you can see that it only retained the minor and the last major. So if we had the option to uh, publish the uh, minor to major, that actually would have deleted both these versions and there'd only be one version retained, it would be version three. Now it can take a little while for the reclaimed storage to show again in the admin panel. So I do recommend waiting, waiting a day before seeing how much uh, space you've reclaimed through the Office 365 admin panel. All right, thank you for watching.